So it's bank holiday weekend and uh, we've decided to, me and my friend Niall, have decided to pop to the Brecon Beacons um, uh, just to do a bit of wild camping. Um, so we're heading to, uh, can you remember what this place is called? Uh, I can't, no. Um, no, I can't remember what it's called. I'll, yeah. I'll pop the name of it below. Um, but it's actually a place which is featured in um, Andrew Maguire's vlogs as well before, so I'll pop a link to his video um, above as well. But um, yep, that's where we're heading uh, today, just to spend the night there and hopefully get a little bit of photography done as well. Well, we've made it to the lake, um, and actually the walk was much shorter than we thought it was going to be, um, and actually much easier, so it um, wasn't too challenging at all. Um, and actually the spot over there is the spot where we had fought to camp, and um, that's where Andrew camped in his, in his vlog. Um, but uh, because we've got uh, probably a few hours yet before sunset, we think actually what we're going to do is climb the mountain, whose name I can't remember, um, so I'm going to pop it on the screen. Um, but yeah, I think our plan is to climb up the mountain and although it's quite windy, we might see if we can camp up there this evening. So we've reached for a bit of a spot where um, we're going to be camping this evening um, and it's really nice and sheltered up here um, but I thought I'd just show you this so basically because I've got my camera gear and camping gear I've gone to the highest extent to try and make sure that I've packed as minimal surplus extra stuff in my kit as possible. Niall on the other hand, Niall what have you what have you packed? The essentials. Uh, Niall has brought uh, a bottle of Campo sorry. Viejo, Rioja. <laughs> um, what else have we got? We've got some leeks. Um, got some leeks. We've got some beans. Um, a lemon. Uh, uh, that, that a lemon. The important bit. So when you come camping, a lemon is one of the most essential bits of equipment to bring. Um, basil. Basil. <laughs> Flat leaf We've got basil, basil and flat leaf parsley. As you might have gathered, my friend Niall is from London. <laughs> um, and this is, this is what Londoners do when they come to the countryside. Can you, is there any way to get a flat white around here? <laughs> flat white, so later. <laughs> So we are now into the golden hour and we've actually come over the other side of the mountain from where we're actually camping um, because this is where the sun's going down and so we're hoping maybe to get a, a nice view here. Um, to be honest I was hoping the sunset might be a little bit better than it is at the moment but there are some nice colours kicking off in the sky um, but a lot of it's just being snuffed out by these, these clouds on the horizon. Um, but I do quite like the lines that are happening in the sky. Um, and uh, yeah, what I've, what I've actually done is I've got the uh, lens zoomed in to, um, uh, yeah, it's actually in at 70 mils now, um, just to kind of isolate uh, the peak of, of that bit of a mountain over there. Um, I think the pastel colours of this scene um, are just the kind of colours that I like to, like to take photos of. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, um, I'm going to go ahead and take this photo now. Um, and... Uh, it's the normal settings of ISO 100 and f11, and at this, uh, in, the, in these conditions, the light, the um, exposure time is actually two seconds. Um, so I'll go, and ha go ahead and take this image, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> Yes, we, we definitely should have come over this side of the mountain a little bit earlier, I think. Um, we've uh, definitely missed the best of the light. Um, but even so, I think this image might still work. Um, so we've got the mountain. Um, I don't know what this mountain's called, by the way. Um, I'm really rubbish with Welsh mountain names, so I'll pop it up on the screen again. Um, but I think this composition's working 
quite nicely. It's just such an imposing mountain. Um, but yeah, the colour's kind of gone now from the sky and I don't think it's going to get any better. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take this, this image anyway. And um, yeah, similar settings to before. I should have mentioned earlier, I've got a, just got a polarizer filter um, on the lens there um, and that's it. Um, so really simple. And um, yeah, I think this, this image might work quite nicely. Right, so I think that's definitely the best of the light gone now for this evening. So I think we're going to head back to the tents, um, probably call it a night. Um, yeah, it's just a shame we didn't come over this side of the, the mountain just a little bit earlier because I think the light would have been so much better over here, but never mind. Too much time drinking wine, I think. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to head back to the tents now and I think that's it for this evening. And um, I think tomorrow morning uh, for dawn, hopefully if the weather holds out, um, we've got <laughs> <laughs> no, I said too much wine. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I think we're going to head back to the, um, the tent now and, um, yeah, we'll see how we get on tomorrow morning. Hopefully, the weather will still be good tomorrow morning and we'll get some more good shots. Well, it's, uh, it's now morning um, and I didn't get the best night's sleep, to be honest. Um, the wind really picked up in the night. Um, so, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't the most relaxing night's sleep. Um, and unfortunately, it looks like we're not going to get much of a sunrise now as well. So I think the sun has just risen and just for maybe a couple of minutes, we had a little bit of red over on the horizon, um, but it didn't last very long and now it has just been completely snuffed out by, by clouds. Um, so I'm not sure whether it's going to work too well for photography. I did take one image um, just when there was that little bit of colour in the sky. I managed to, to fire off one quick image. So we'll see how that uh, turns out. I think that worked quite well. Um, but I definitely need a coffee now. <laughs> it's, it's kind of cold and <laughs> windy. <laughs> but, I've actually, I was about to run off and make a cup of coffee, but I decided to pop down here quickly and take another image, um, just with the mountain, slopes of the mountain, and we've got these two sheep just sat on the cliff there as well, so I think actually, I quite like that, I quite like that. I'll leave them in this image. It's quite a dark, moody scene, I don't, I don't know, um, I had thought it would be black and white, but now actually looking at the colours on the back of the camera, I'm, I'm not so sure, um, but, uh, I'll put, put the image up now anyway and you can, uh, you'll see if it ended up black or white or not. <laughs> Well, it might have been a bit of a disappointment with the photography, but what a place this is to wake up. Right, we've managed to pack up the tents, um, and the weather kind of turned on us a little bit on the top of the mountain. Um, but we're going to head home now. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I'm not sure it's been the most successful trip for photographs. Um, but yeah, it's just been great to get out and uh, yeah, fantastic to be camping up on top of a mountain last night. Absolutely amazing. Um, but anyway, if you did enjoy this video, then please uh, consider giving it a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.